everybody, this is Bobby with bobbystamps.blogspot.com and I'm going to show you how I made this cute, unusual Thanksgiving card. Um, I made this in a blog that I'm participating in, so you might have seen the card there, um, or you might be watching it on YouTube. So if you're watching it on YouTube, you can visit my blog, it's bobbystamps.blogspot.com, and you'll see um, a ton more cards. Our theme was Thanksgiving. Um, so there's some very talented ladies on the team, so head on over to my blog and check those out, but we'll go ahead and get started on making this card. I wanted my card to be different because I knew it, Thanksgiving it's going to be tr traditional. There's going to be a lot of orange, red, browns, that kind of thing, so I thought, you know, I'm going to do mine just a little bit different. So I used Pierre Pizzazz, Pool Party, and Early Espresso are my inks. And how I made the pumpkin was I used the oval, um, layering oval framelits. And this is the size of the one I used. And if you open yours up, it's going to be, mine are all a mess, but if I calculated it right, I'm pretty sure this one was there. So on this one, it would be the um, second one in. So that is how I made those. And I've already got those cut out, and I did cut those out on very vanilla cardstock. And our card base that we used, um, it is early espresso as well. I'm just going to go ahead and grab my bone folder and give that a nice little score line there. Then we'll move it out of the way. You're going to need a piece of pull party, and this one is cut at four by five and a quarter. Then you're going to need another piece of very vanilla. This one is cut at three and a half by four, I'm sorry, three and a quarter by four. And then for the sentiment, I used early espresso. And this one is um, one and three quarters by three and a quarter. And then another piece of very vanilla that is one and a half by three. So those are the measurements there. For all of those, you're going to need a scrap piece of pear pizzazz and then another scrap piece of early espresso for the stem and the little pumpkin um, or the leaves in the pumpkin stem. Then I used the textured impressions um, embossing folder to give the pumpkin the texture. And I'll show you, I'm going to do that actually on camera. I'm going to use the Butterfly Basic stamp set, and then we're getting our sentiment from this um, Sweet Seasons stamp set. So let's go ahead and get these moved out of the way, and I'll show you how I embossed that. We are also using um, linen thread and the jeweled pearls too. So it's really quite simple to do this. Let me make sure you guys can see. Let me make sure that I'm all the way out so you can get a good shot of that. So I just have my Big Shot platform, one of the, the plastic um, pads, and then you just take your cardstock that you cut out with the ovals, the very vanilla, and you just place them on there like so. And you just want to make sure, you know, that I wanted my vining to go that way. If you wanted to go the other way, I'm sure you could do it that way, but that's just the way I wanted mine to go. And you just run it through. And voila. Super neat. Okay. Get this moved back out of the way. Now the other thing I did, let me grab my sponge and then I want to grab... I just want to grab a piece of paper towel to lay that on. So I took just a little bit of the early espresso. <clears throat> and then I just lightly took a sponge and went around each of the ovals. I wanted to color it in, give it just a little bit of um, definition, make it stand out a little bit. Just go around all the edges like so. And 
And I must have accidentally ripped that piece there. It's okay, I'll still use it. We can just put it to the back. I'm not gonna, don't wanna have to start over and make you guys wait. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay those off to the side and we'll put that right there so that way it won't, won't make a mess. I'm gonna grab um, a piece of grid paper. I don't wanna make a mess when I'm stamping. That's an old piece I've already been using. So I'm just gonna lay this down here so that way because um, I do stamp off on one of the colors and I don't want to I don't want to make a mess with that. So I'm going to bring in my mat and then we'll bring in the piece of very vanilla that we're going to stamp on. And let me see. I'm going to put this down here. I'm just going to rip this in half. Just lay that piece there. Looks horrible, but it's okay, I don't want to get my mat all dirty. So this is, we're going to use the, um, from the, the Butterfly Basics, the little, like, fern. When I did the Pear Pizzazz, I did stamp off when I used it, but on the Pull Party, I did not, because the Pull Party is so light that you don't really have to do it. So I just kind of randomly, and I spaced them out, so that way I could in between the colors I could put the opposite color so we'll go back in with pull party so let's put like one there and then maybe one off on the corner there and I forgot to stamp off but that's okay you don't really have to stamp off I just I was going more for the very light look so now on pull party I will not stamp off because like I said it's it's so light anyway And then I'm going to turn that upside down. I was just trying to give it a nice range of colors. And it keeps sticking to my... Let's flip it back around and see what we got. Okay, I think I'm going to go back in. Maybe I'll stamp this one off and go right there. Just give it just a little bit of a different color variation. And maybe one right there. And that looks good. I like that. I'm happy with that. I just wanted those basic colors. We'll close this up. Close that up. Then we're going to take the early espresso again and just go around the edge of this cardstock. I just love how that looks when you do that on the very vanilla with the early espresso. It's such a pretty, pretty effect. Kind of makes it stand out and I think it on this color I don't know if I lay it down there if you guys can see that let me go back in just a little bit move the camera sorry about that but I think it just it just kind of makes the the card and the colors just pop a little bit more let me wipe my hand off I just don't ink on it Okay, so what we can go ahead and do next then, let's get rid of our ugly paper, and then I'm just going to go ahead, because we already have the mat out, we'll just go ahead and open the early espresso again and get all of our stamping out of the way and um, stamp our sentiments. Okay, make sure you guys can see, maybe move that up there just a bit. We're just going to get it right in the center of the very vanilla. Okay. And again, just go around the edge. And it just makes it kind of finishes off the edge, I think, just a little bit. Okay. And I always have to stop because I get carried away when I do that because I love that effect. I'm going to back you guys up just a little bit. I think, I think I brought it in too much. When I look up, it feels like it's right on top of everything. I did forget to mention 
or maybe I didn't, maybe I'm just saving it for the end, but how we made the little um, stem and the, the, um, the little leaves there, I think you're going to be quite surprised, but you will need your fox punch for that. Um, and you just take, this is what I used to get my the little leaves. Just pop that right out there. Lay that there. And then for the, we're going to use the tail to get the stem. Just pop that out. We got another another little leaf. I guess you could layer it if you want if you wanted to. I'm not going to. Okay, now I'm gonna put my ripped piece of paper at the bottom. And this is where I struggled the most because it was just driving me nuts because I want this down here to be even. And I kept trying to do it like so and I just was failing at it miserably. There it looks perfect, but I know when I go to to glue it, it's probably not gonna work out like that for me. So we'll just put, and I like to use the glue. It's good and strong for something like this. And you guys know I love it because it's repositionable. And if I make mistakes, it helps me. I'm going to try to do this really super quick before that dries. And I'm going to try to... My other pumpkin was a little bit skinny. But we want to make sure that it's going to fit on the page too, so... Make sure that you're keeping your bind side up when you're doing this. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this piece. You, you could use snail, or, and you can use fast fuse too. I just like the glue. And then that looks really pretty like that. I'm hoping it's going to fit because this pumpkin is a lot fatter than my original pumpkin. But I like it because my other one was kind of too skinny. Just put a little bit of glue on that and put our stem. And you guys could cut out two or three if you wanted to. I'm just going to do one. And I put the fat part is the part that I did not use. So, and then just kind of position that. Doesn't that make the cutest little pumpkin stem? Who would have thought? Okay, we'll just let that dry for just a little bit. Wipe my hands off, get the glue off of it. We'll start assembling the card. We can grab dimensionals and some snail. And we'll just put this down with some snail. Center it on your early espresso card base and then put the piece of berry. I have been having trouble with my snail today and I just changed it so I'm not sure what's up with that. And then you're just going to center this like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my pumpkin on there because, like I told you, it's a lot fatter than my original. So as you can see, if I put the sentiment there, it's kind of going to overlap. So I think, I think I still might just leave it like that. I could go in and cut it down just a bit to make it fit, but I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm okay with it like that. So I use dimensionals. So that's the only other thing guys that you have to watch out for is make sure that you're, I knew when I was making that, that it was probably going to be that way, but I want a fat pumpkin. So I'm going to leave it. And then I did use dimensionals for the back of my sentiment here. those up.
And then we'll just put this on the piece of early espresso, like so. Now, before I take the backing off for my pumpkin, I am going to see, and I think it's going to work. We'll just kind of move it over towards the edge just a little bit more. And it's okay, to me it's okay that it's overlapping there just a little bit. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. So, let's go ahead and put a few dimensionals on this piece. Okay. And we'll just kind of bring it all the way out to the pull party piece of cardstock. I've noticed today when I was making this card, I pull party is a color that I don't use that much. But as I was thinking all day long, because I had this, I had this picture in my head of this card, and all day long I just kept thinking of a very pale blue, and I knew it was probably going to end up being pull party would be the color that I would choose, and that's exactly when I came downstairs to get started on this. This is exactly the one I used. So, we will then take a piece of linen thread and we'll make a bow. And I think I pulled it way too far, now I can't, there I go. Okay, let me grab my snips. that off just a bit more and then I'm going to grab a glue dot to put that on I think and I'm just going to kind of like fold it over with my finger whoops maybe so that way we don't have to worry about it being so visible I'm just going to take my fingernail and make it into a tiny little ball And then we'll just put it right there in the middle of the pumpkin. And then you can fidget with it, get it to where you want it. And then we'll bring in our pearls. I kind of decided on this last minute. So what I did was I just put one in this corner. I put one down in this corner. Put one in that corner, but since it's um, underneath the pumpkin, I think we'll just throw it up in that corner. And then I took the three, I'm not sure if these are the medium on here, but I just spaced them out and kind of walked them right down the center of the pumpkin. And there you guys go. So this was my first one, and as you can see, the pumpkin is a lot skinnier, but I like the fatter pumpkin. So I would suggest if you guys want to duplicate this card, you can just cut your sentiment down. As you can see, there's plenty of room on each side where you could take that down just a little bit. You could put it, you could position it up. Um, you don't even have to use the early espresso in the back if you don't want. But I love how these turned out. I love the colors together. So make sure that you visit my blog, guys. It's bobbystamps.blogspot.com. Thanks.